Hi, this is Shantanu. Welcome back to my channel again. Today's class will be about prepositions for the competitive exams like SSC, CGL, CHSL, Bank, NDA, etc. etc. This is preposition series part 12. Kindly browse through the playlist of my channel Competitive English. You will find different kinds of series given for the competitive exam. Now, without wasting any more time, let's move into the video. If you haven't followed my previous video, kindly follow all the videos so that all my classes will be greatly comprehensible to all of you. Now, let's get into the class. Look through the first question. Take this medicine and you will get rid. Here is a blank. This bad cold. So the sentence is basically based on the instructive stone. It is actually called the imperative sentence. There is a phrase in English called get rid of O double A. Means escape from something else. Or you can say release from something else or someone else. So if I say take this medicine and you will get rid of this code. That means you will be. having an escape from the cold. Suppose you are suffering from the bad cold and how to escape from its hand then you have to take the medicine. So it is all about that. The spelling is OF not O -A. So the phrase you cannot change the phrase at all. So the phrase is so the prepositional phrase is fixed you need to remember the phrase. So from O -A -A of at all are eliminated and O -A -A be careful, you should not be confused about O double F and OF. It is OF, not O double F. So, this will be the answer. Now, look through the next question. I brought him, here is a blank, with great difficulties. There are four options as usual. Brought up means nourish someone, or you can say nurture someone. Brought down means reduced or alleviated. Brought out means published, exposed. Brought forth means produced. So now look what the sentence. I brought him. If I place down, it is not having any meaning. If I place out, it is too not having any meaning. If, if I place brought forth, still it is not having meaning. But if I ever say brought him up, means I have made him grow or I have nourished him with great difficulties. In spite of tolerating lots of struggle, I have nourished him or nurtured him or reared him, R -E -A -R -E -D. So the last answer should be brought up, not like down, out or for. It should not be confused over this. Actually, it is a part of phrasal verb. Now look through the next question. There is no exception. Here is the blank. This rule. There are four options. Two words about on two. So whenever you are going to say exception, you are going to show some kind of attitude. And two is also called the preposition of attitude. So two words about on all are eliminated and T O should be the answer here as the preposition of attitude. We are going to show some attitude towards the rule, not towards, rather to the rule. In the absence of two, you can go for the option towards. But when two is present, you need to select the option two. Now look through the next question. President Saddam Hussein lived here is the blank, the gun all his life. There are four options under, with, by, through. Now, whenever someone is living in some way, you are going to highlight the means you need to select the preposition by in general. You can say under, with, with can also be used if you say as a, a, a preposition of instrument. But here it is not about the preposition of instrument. It is all about the means. It is all about the means or about the fact of how you are going to live. So whenever someone is living in some way and you are going to highlight his or her means, 
you need to select the preposition by in general cases okay so here under with through all are eliminated and by should be the perfect answer now look over the overall class the first answer goes for option c that is of no not o double f second answer goes for option b that is brought up means reared or nourished or nurtured etc etc third answer goes for option d that is to as the preposition of attitude and the fourth answer goes for option c that is by so here why by by means whenever you are going to highlight the means of living you need to select the preposition by in general cases so this is my short class for short analysis as far as prepositions are concerned if you haven't understood any part of this analysis you can easily make your comments in the comment box section but if you like my video you can share my video subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell icon for more such video kindly wait for my next class till then have a very good day